the political drama in Tamil Nadu where more senior leaders, members of parliament deserted Sasikala today and pledged support to Opani Selvam. In fact, OPS needs only 11 more MLAs to bring down the majority of the AIA-DMK led by Sasikala. A furious Sasikala told journalists it was tough being a woman in politics and in the last few minutes, she's also addressed the media breaking down once again. Earlier, she took journalists into that resort where all the MLAs are holed up, insisting that they were all one big happy family. Sasikala meeting her flock at the resort outside Chennai this evening, still claiming to have support of 127 MLAs. Just before the strategy meeting at the resort, she struck the right note. In an attempt to quell rumours that MLAs were being held against their will, Sasikala addressed the media from the resort. Sasikala's confidence was not dented by scenes like this. Actor Manubala showing his support to her rival O Paneer Selvam, who today claimed support of seven MLAs. If 11 more MLAs join him, Sasikala will be left with just 116 MLAs, one short of the halfway mark she needs to form the government. Reacting to Sasikala's allegations that the governor was not allowing her to parade her MLAs in an attempt to delay things so the party would split, Raj Bhavan sources told NDTV, the governor will not be intimidated. The governor wants to ensure a stable government. And the governor was not sure Sasikala could get elected in six months. There is unnecessarily some unfair indirect criticism here and there okay. against uh, the governor. The government of India has no role as of now. While Sasikala is certain of her numbers, K. Pandya Rajan, the state education minister and one of Sasikala's most trusted lieutenants who joined forces with Paneer Selvam on Saturday morning, has said that many more MLAs are ready to support them and they expect their strength to cross double figures. NNDTV Bureau Report.